Welcome friends. Today we're going to make three easy freezer casseroles. Lazy lasagna, chicken parm, and cheesy chicken. Here's just a, sorry for the shaky camera, but here's just some of the items that I'll be using. We're going to put the chicken on to boil. And of course I overfill the pot, so once I get almost every piece of chicken in the pot, I realize it's going to overflow. <laughs> so I had to dump some of the water out. And of course, I made a mess doing this, so I had to wipe the stove down. I have two family size packs of ground beef also. I'm just going to throw all of it in this big frying pan. I probably should have used two. It took forever to cook, but we're just going to go with it. I'm going to break it up with my little tool just so it uh, cooks up smaller. I'm adding four cloves of garlic. I cut some of them in half because they were kind of big. adding Montreal steak seasoning and longhorn seasoning. My children do not really care for ricotta. So, to get away with putting it in there, I mix a little spaghetti sauce in with it, and it just kind of tames the flavor a little bit. I'm going to open all this cheese and cut it into smaller pieces just so it will fit in my KitchenAid shredder. Toby Jack, mozzarella, mild cheddar, and fresh mozzarella. I'm mixing the mozzarella and the fresh mozzarella together as I'm shredding it so that the fresh mozzarella doesn't clump back together. It took me between an hour and a half to two hours to make eight casseroles. Shred the cheddar next. Jack. I promise we're almost done shredding cheese. I'm just breaking the hamburger up, making sure it's cooking evenly. I'm going to stir the chicken to make 
make sure it's not sticking to the bottom and it's cooking evenly. My water is boiling, so I'm going to add two bags of 16 ounce spiral vegetable noodles. You can use any kind of noodles. I personally don't like lasagna noodles because I don't want to layer them and they tend to get a little tougher than the spiral noodles. Just going to drain all the grease off the hamburger. I've got more hamburger than will fit in my colander so I just decided I would clean it up on the side and get as much out as I can. It was really fatty hamburger. So I'm just adding some sauce, putting some water in the jar, get the rest of it out. As far as how much sauce to add, it's preference. It's just however you like your spaghetti sauce, whether you like it thinner or thicker. We kind of like it a little on the thicker side. Noodles are done. I drained those. I'm going to add some sauce to those so that they don't stick together and so that they don't dry out in the casserole. I don't add a lot, just enough to get them covered. It's time to start layering. I start with a layer of pasta. I just put enough in there so that the bottom of the pan is covered good. Then I add the ricotta mixture. I'm just going to spread it out evenly. I'm going to add a layer of mozzarella to each casserole and then layer the spaghetti sauce on top. And then I add more mozzarella. I also add some mild cheddar. I just like the flavor it gives it. You can use any cheeses you want. You can substitute cottage cheese for ricotta. There's a lot of different kinds of cheese that you can put in it. My preference is just ricotta, mozzarella, and cheddar. Once I finish these, I put full lids on them and I write the instructions on how to heat them along with what's in the pan. For the lasagna, I usually take it out of the freezer a day to two days beforehand. Uh, two days for the bigger one just because it doesn't always defrost in one day. And I will put it in the oven at 350-400 degrees with the lid on it, I usually try and tin it a little bit so that the lid's not touching the cheese. And once it starts getting bubbly, I take the full cover off. And once the cheese is melted and bubbly, it's ready. I'd say it usually takes 45 minutes to an hour. I have some extra sauce, so I'm just going to put it in a Ziploc bag, flatten it out, and lay it to the side to cool, and I'll stick that in a freezer so we can have spaghetti one night. My larger pans have lids, the smaller ones don't. 
So I put two layers of aluminum foil on them. Once the chicken was uh, done, I turned it off and I let it sit for a little while to cool while I was doing other things. And then once I was ready for it, I just laid it out on a baking sheet. And I am removing the fat and the gristle and just cutting it up and breaking it up into small pieces. You can also, if you have a KitchenAid, Put it in the bowl and use the flat beater to shred your chicken but my son doesn't like the texture of that so I am breaking it up by hand. These are the noodles that I've already drained and cooked. It was a 16 ounce bag. I put some sauce in it. I'm gonna open up all the cans of soup. I have cream of chicken and cream of celery. I have four cans of cream of chicken, two cans of cream of celery. You can use any soups you'd like. You can use the cream of chicken with herb. You can use uh, cream of mushroom just any kind of combination the cream of soups work you can use cream of cheddar cheese soup um, just any any combination that you would like but if you use the cream of chicken with herb use less seasonings because it can get a little salty just whisk the, whisking the two soups together I'm gonna split the chicken in half. I put a little more of the, you see the long corner Outback seasoning? I will put a comment in the video and let you know. I had to switch out from my spatula to a spoon because it just was not cutting. Just added some sauce to that. I'm layering the noodles, just enough to cover the bottom of the pan. It was the same noodles that I used for the lazy lasagna. Now I'm putting the shredded chicken mix on top. And I will then cover it with Parmesan cheese. I added sauce, it dries out a little more than the lazy lasagna does, so I add a little extra sauce. I freeze these like this, but once I take them out of the freezer and defrost them, I take panko or breadcrumbs. Uh, I actually use the Italian food line brand breadcrumbs and I just mix enough olive oil in it so it starts to stick together and then I just pat it onto the top and it gives it a nice texture like you had the fried chicken instead of the boiled chicken that was in there. I put salad supreme in this chicken for the chicken cheesy chicken casserole. mild cheddar cheese in with the chicken. I'm going to add the soup. 
soup. Just making sure I don't have any dry spots in it. Make sure it's completely mixed. Split it up between the two pans. I will then add cheese to this. And um, after I get out of the freezer, I will do a Ritz cracker and butter topping on these. And um, I bake them about the same amount of time as I would the lasagna, about 45 minutes uh, on 350 to 400. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you would, please subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. Until next time.